Thanks for joining Jamaica Sports TV, we appreciate your continued support. Please remember to like, share, subscribe and also leave a feedback in the comment section. So before we get into the video let's make it clear that this young lady here, Jody Kim Won Brown is also a youngster, just 21 years old. However, since we already did a video on her here on this channel, we did not include her in this video. Further since she has been in the reggae girls senior setup for so long. She's really like a senior player with a great deal of experience going to her second World Cup, despite her young age. With that been said, let's move on. Let's start with the youngest of the bunch, Soleil Washington at only 18 years old and will be more than likely amongst some of the youngest to be at a FIFA Women's World Cup. Just like Jody Brown was in her first World Cup Soleil, the younger sister of Giselle Washington another player who entered the senior reggae girls ranks at a young age but unfortunately had been plagued by injury somewhat slowing up her career for college as well as international. Giselle has been healthy since the last part of this year's college season and seems to be getting back in form. Soleil seems to be a player whose progression the coach has been following, but she was not present throughout qualifying, it does not appear she played for any of the Jamaica youth teams. Recently introduced to the senior team, she has only featured in a few friendlies where she did well, so fans are anticipating seeing what she will bring to the reggae girls midfield, as she is listed as a midfielder. Although not confirmed, it is believed she is still in high school, playing at academy level, please provide information in comments section if you know more. Up next, we have Leah Brooks, possibly more than likely third-string goalkeeper in this senior team, but a super achievement to make it into this team at this age, at this point. Brooks is a U-17 standout from the last U-17 World Cup qualifications. Despite the team not qualifying for the World Cup, a lot of fans were impressed with her leadership and performance throughout that campaign. And it was clear that she was going to be on a rapid rise. She began getting invitations to senior reggae girls camp before the U-20s came around. Brooks matriculated to the reggae girls U-20s this year and was once again standout and impressive and it became even clearer that she was going to contest for a spot on this 23-player roster for. The 2023 Women's World Cup so really not a big surprise for fans who follow the reggae girls junior teams and are aware of some of the players who are making noise, not only for country but at their clubs. Brooks herself just left high school and is on her way to university this fall in Washington state. We will be tracking her progress closely then, but for now fans are more excited to see how this international experience will help her further in her career than really to see if and how she will perform at this World Cup. Next on this list is no stranger to the channel, longtime subscribers will remember some of the first posting on this channel on reggae girls in the USA university system, which includes young striker Cameron Simmons. Plays for Tennessee Lady Volunteers, the alma mater of none other than Khadijah Bunny Shaw and also Giselle Washington. Simmons is another standout player from the U-20s campaign for qualification along with Peyton McNamara who was also on that U-20 team but did not feature due to injury. It was however clear that Simmons played a little above the U-20 level in that tournament, which was last year before she entered freshman year at university. She entered into university in a very strong competitive team and managed to stamp a claim for a regularly featured sub, coming off the bench, assisting in plays, creating chances and getting on the score sheet quite a few times. This definitely strengthened her chances to advance to the senior reggae girls and she was invited to a few camps and featured in the friendly tournament in Australia earlier this year. Simmons is one that has a strong chance of getting featured in this World Cup, as the way she plays, fearlessness coupled with her skill set, can cause issues for the back line of any one of the teams in the reggae girls group. Next on the list is Peyton McNamara 21-year-old midfielder who applies her trade at Ohio State University in the United States. Like the rest Peyton is relatively new to the reggae girls' senior team but one whose name have been in the conversation. As mentioned before, injury kept her from featuring for Jamaica at U-20 level in the same team as Simmons. She has been in national camps since returning and has also played in the most recent friendlies for the team. Yet to feature for the senior team in a competitive fixture, so fans are still anticipating seeing how impactful she will be to the team and to the midfield. 
From what has been seen she looks more like a holding midfielder, one to connect with defense and is capable of advancing the ball. The reggae girls team is fortunate to have these young ladies choosing to represent Jamaica at such a young age, taking into consideration the trajectory of their careers based upon quality displayed. However, these young players beat out quite a few professional players to make it here and therefore it's also a privilege. Further the coach is either super brave and insightful or he has blundered for including so many inexperienced players in the team, which one will be revealed quite soon at the World Cup, and we wish all the youngsters the best of luck.